Hello and welcome everybody. I just want to make a quick uh, video about uh, leaving prayer or uh, lazy or somebody like uh, he he don't want to pray or somebody said prayer is not exist in the Islam. I want to share what the fuqah has said about this matter and the uh, people who not lazy to pray. The first up to now the, the one who said that the prayer does not exist in the Islam they have no like uh, the fuqha does not differ about uh, his punishment his punishment by that there is no difference here the difference is in the guy who's uh, don't pray like uh, like normal uh, lazy Muslim uh, I used to be one of them <laughs> to, uh, before I get apostate like uh, 10 years I was like uh, very hardly seriously praying taking the straight part on the prayer i try to make my best but five years ago i get a job in middle day so i couldn't pray and i get struggle to you know to keep up the prayer brother and sister muslim this is a very serious matter you don't know that the prayer if you just leave one prayer you are kafir kafir you are an infidel you are apostate like me and your punishment is by death and this is not you know, my opinion the first to show you we're gonna head to the riyad salihin this is a hadith from uh, from asunna.com from kitab uh, al-fadail from uh, riyad al-salihin chapter strict orders for uh, servants of the obligatory salat Buraida, may Allah be pleased with him, uh, reported. The Messenger of Allah said that which differentiates us from the uh, disbeliever and hypocrite is our performance of Salah. He who abandoned it become a disbeliever. This hadith is Sahih. Uh, the second uh, source I want to share with you that we uh, are this one most people can get to it like if you store if you do if you don't speak arabic but this books you uh, know most people are gonna are gonna get access to is kitab matalib al-aliya bi zawaid masani thamaniya ibn hajar al-asqalani i think uh, most uh, if you google ibn hajar al-asqalani you know it's a faqih min ahl al-sunnah wal jama'a he said Bab Hukum Tark Salat, the port of uh, who leaves the prayer. He said here, Bab Hukum Tark Salat, we're gonna stick to the second page. He gives you an hadith. Hadith 662. Ishaq said from Abd Razak, from Muhammad bin Rashid, and Makhul, and from Abi Dhar, and who from the Messenger of God said, Man Taraka Salata Mutamidan Fakal Bari at Minhudim Matullah, who leaves the prayer. He intended to leave the prayer. Dimmat Allah, he's not like uh, Allah doesn't protect him. So he has no protection against Allah. The second hadith is 663 in the book Qala Abd Razak from Abd Razak. أخبرنا شيخ من أهل الشام from Sham and Makhul this guy same guy from the first hadith who like Allah leave, leave him without protection he's become a disbeliever the second hadith is said أخبرنا بقية بقية is a name بقية بن الوليد ثنا إياد بن أبي حميد بن أبي حميد قال he said, سمعت مكحول مكحول is the same guy again he narrated the, uh, this hadith يقول. he said for those people who said the prayer are from God and the zakat as well are from God but we can't do it then he is a disbeliever he, he is how to be like uh, tell him to, to not do this or if he don't uh, like if he keep doing the same what he doing he have to be killed wa illa qutil he have to be killed the second hadith i will narrate straight because he is coming from uh, this guy from ayub again from ayub another one he said fi man yasul salat usalli hay durba ul qiya he said the guy who said the prayer are from god 
but I can't play you know I can't play it like uh, continuously or something like this or I it's hard for me he said his head have to be caught and he show him from his back you know where we have to be caught his back there is he said here no difference between the aima all you know Muslims that time there is no like difference between this hukum yeah, that's why the second uh, course here I'm going to tell you Ibn Uthaymin is a late uh, scholar if he's in his book if Kitab Hukum Tarik Salat he make one book for Hukum for those who leave the prayer I think we started from uh, the beginning yeah here they say this is uh, this thing about the prayer is a big thing between the Fuqaha and they have the fear you know how to deal with it uh, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal said Tariq Salat Kafir Kufr al Mukhrijan Mil al Milla Yuktalu Ida Lam Yatub wa Yusali. The guy who leaves the prayer, this is this here they don't talk about the one who said the prayer are not from God. Here they talk about Muslims. Muslims who pray who pray sometime, who don't pray sometime, or who didn't pray yet, or who pray and caught it. He said the the guy who leaves the prayer is a disbeliever. The disbeliever that can take him from out from the Islam and then if he's out from Islam you have to be Tazir. Tazir is like you put in the prison and they give you three days or four days to back from your intention if you, and you start praying. If you don't do that then you have to be killed and here put it here straight. Qalah Abu Hanifa wa Malik wa Shafi'i to three of them. Abu Hanifa المذهب الحنا المذهب الحنفي مالك المذهب المالكي مروكو and Algeria and حنيفة I think is سعودية and the الشافعي I think in Egypt الشافعي all of them said فاسق ولا يكفر he said فاسق he is like doing you know bad thing and but ولا يكفر they don't have to be like disbeliever ثم اختلفوا فقال الشافعي مالك والشافعي then the this the the fair and مالك and الشافعي said يقتل حدا يعني two مذاهب two مذاهب the مالك is North African where I lived and الشافعي as well said يقتل حدا mean here يقتل حدا he will die but not as a disbeliever that's why I told you here the when I said here the there are three differ they differ on the on the meaning of uh, his kofar but they don't defy the fair on the hukum that he gonna be killed they don't you know they don't differ about that they just differ when he gonna be killed he's still gonna be a Muslims like he, he be killed Haddan like uh, the, the one who committed al adultery he will kill Haddan but he's still going to pray on him and he's still going to be to get inherited so Malik and Shafi'i said يقتل حدا وأبو حنيفة said يعزر ولا يقتل أبو حنيفة only one of all the فقهاء who said يعزر يعني you put in the prison until he start praying if he no start and and he said يعزر هو they put in the prison that with the تعذيب يعني with the punishment they keep beating you you know torture so until you start praying if you don't start praying you will, you will stay in the in the prison for all your life and then here this guy going to bring uh, to bring this khilaf and taking sense of it and he gives a lot of evidence here you know surah nisa nisa ashura here shura uh, verse 10 and uh, Nisa, Surah Nisa, I think uh, 4, 4, yeah, 59, all of them prove that the, 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 the first ones, you know, they say who said they're going to be kafir, uh, disbeliever and have to be killed, he's the, the right, you know, the right ones. And uh, Hanafi is uh, the guy who said we put them in the prison is like uh, they don't all go to that one because they don't like that one because it's not uh, the, the prophet's say give you the best of them 
here I'm going he give you the Surah Tawbah the one who have no no basmala and 11 the verse 11 when he say فَإِنْتَابُوا وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ فَإِخْوَانُكُمْ فِي الدِّينَ and if they stop and start praying and uh, give zakat the, and they are your brother here they said because here they said if they start praying that means that Salat is must and he give us again Surat Maryam is uh, 60 I think 59 فخلف من بعدهم خلف أداء الصلاة واتبع الشهوات فسير القون غيا. he said after them come up up people who left the prayer and follow them what just like life things. وعمل صالحا وكنا يا. all of this prove that the salah is a must in the Islam. In this a lot of verses here, you know, not just one verse or two verse. Uh, this is Surah Al-Baqarah 2178 as well. And he bring here the proof from a sunnah. Uh, the second part is the proof from the sunnah. Uh, the Prophet said, between a man and shirk, shirk is meaning belief uh, other God uh, from, with Allah and the disbelief leaving the prayer. Rawahu Muslim Muslim fi kitab al iman wa an jabir. Yeah, this is Muslim hadith. This is an Burayda bin Hasib. Burayda bin Hasib, radiallahu anhu, he's a Sahabi. Samir to Rasulullah. He hears the Prophet said, "Al Ahd al Ladi bainan wa bainhum al Salat, fa man tarakaha faqad kafar." Sareh hadith, clear hadith that who leave the prayer is disbeliever. They said the oath between us and them, you know, the the disbeliever, the prayer. Who leave it, he he become disbeliever. This is how the, the ulama and fuqaha take this hadith and, uh, and give the hukum punishment by that because the Rasul said who lived the prayer is kafar. Wal muradu bil kufri huna al kufri al mukhrij al mila. He said, this faqih said, this murad, this kufr mean here in this hadith, this belief that's gonna take you out from the Islam because the Prophet uh, make the prayer. Uh, like something between uh, you know, be the fair between the Muslim and disbeliever. We'll explain everything here. What is Sahih Muslim and in Muslim said in in Muslim, and Abi Maslama said uh, he heard the Prophet said the meaning of this hadith. It will come a day in people between you like uh, disbeliever, and uh, he said uh, uh, one guy come up and said, "Our oh, Prophet, we have to fight them." He said until they left the prayer. You can't fight them people until he left the prayer. When they left the prayer, then you can fight them. Here, illa ma sallo. Let's skip to another one. Yeah, somebody said to Prophet, "Qil ya Rasulullah." Somebody say to the Prophet, "Oh Prophet, afala nu adibuhum bi saif? We want to fight them with with the sword." He said. Until they make the prayer, if they were praying between you, you can't fight them. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you again.